Good evening. This is CTV News for Tuesday, August 26th. I'm Byron Scott. Thank you for joining us. Well, if area roads seemed more crowded this morning, that's because it's back to school for more than 126,000 students in Prince George's. Officials say the system's more than 200 schools will see new programs and added security. County Executive Rashern Baker stopped at William Packer Elementary this morning to help pass out pencil boxes full of school supplies. All 450 students received a grade-specific kit from the Department of Corrections. Baker says the new school system structure is based on using all facets of government to improve education. Well, I really like the fact that um, one that he's working with our Transforming Neighborhoods Initiative where we're actually bringing all the services of the county uh, not only to those six areas in the county that, that need our that have challenges but also into the schools in those areas um, but also he's doing great programs around the arts language um, reading. I will definitely be focusing on parental and community engagement. That is the big thing for me. I do believe that we cannot do this work without having um, parents as our partners in the community as a whole. So what I'm going to focus on this year is trying to get more of that engagement inside our schools. Meanwhile, Governor Martin O'Malley says there'll be more technology in classrooms throughout Maryland and the state will roll out new assessment tests. And this is a transition time as we move to a better curriculum and uh, we up the educational attainment of our kids. Uh, that'll be involve some transition, some changes in the testing instrument, which will eventually catch up to the higher standards that our teachers are now teaching. County schools have more than 800 new teachers and 30 new principals this year. Officials say there are still, they are still hiring with about 95% teaching positions filled. Substitutes educators will fill in the gaps in the meantime. Well, some pre-kindergartners in our area now have the opportunity to attend class for a full day thanks to a new expanded school program. Today, county officials visited Dowswell Brooks Elementary, one of the latest schools to adopt the change due to budget cuts, some full-day pre-K programs were previously cut out. Now officials say the state-funded expansion will provide students at these schools with a much better learning experience. We have children who come to our school in different levels of readiness. Some of them have really great sight vocabulary. They're really well prepared for what they need to do and others come in not with even a whole alphabet, let alone you know a sight vocabulary. So what the idea here with additional early childhood education is to sort of level that playing field before they get too far into school and we're trying to remediate work, but rather give them sort of the acceleration piece at the beginning of the process. You don't know whether to cry, to scream, to gasp because you know what it's going to mean to children. You know what it's going to mean to their to their future. So we're just glad to have our children to, you know, that they are going to be competitive with everybody else that has gone to pre-K. And Doswell Brooks is one of three schools in the Transforming Neighborhoods Initiative areas to make the change. The school system also adds new science and technology programs and expanded language classes for elementary and middle school students. Well, for some youngsters in Landover, I should say, as the academic year begins, county schools are seeing an influx of Central American immigrant students. It's estimated that approximately 100 unaccompanied minors have already registered for classes in the county. Officials say the school system is ready to accommodate these people but admit these students face certain challenges. They're coming into a place where they don't speak the language, they don't know the family members that they're currently living with, they may have had a lot of interruption in their education and they may have witnessed a lot of trauma, a lot of um, issues going on in their home country. Uh, so all of those things affect, of course, the, the adjustment period for the student. It's not just the cultural piece, um, but it's also everything else that's going on in, in their head. Due to federal law, officials aren't allowed to ask about immigrant status when enrolling students. The Prince George's school system is also offering counseling services for any student in need. Well, for some youngsters in Landover, this day could not have come any sooner. And even as it came to a close, excitement still filled the air. Students at Cora Rice Elementary School greeted their parents with glee after the bells rang this afternoon. Some screaming, some jumping, and even dancing as they shared tales, age you go, dancing, shared tales of awesome reunions, new relationships, and that all-too-perfect recess. Have fun, play with my friends, have new friends. 
make new friends and and that's all I did. And I did some work and all that. Today's first day was the best day and we met a new teacher and it was she was fun and we got to meet a lot of new teachers and we did a lot of drills. It was nice because I got to come back and meet my friends and new friends that wasn't here last year. And I got a new teacher that taught me more stuff, like like fifth grade math, that I didn't know last year. We went to the park. We met, we met a new teacher. And I met some new friends. And I love my new friends. And that's it. Okay, and safe to say Operation First Day of School was a success. And you're watching CTV News. I'm Byron Scott.